Ed Russell here with Trophy Room Adventures. On today's show, we're going to be back in our home state of North Carolina with some familiar faces, Scott Martin and his son Hunter. We're also going to be joining somebody that we hadn't seen on the show yet, Tater Russell, for a hunt. Enjoy the show. On this first hunt, you're going to see Scott with his crossbow. He's got a place set up. He's had baited for a, a long time. He's had it set up. He's got some trail cameras in there consistently. He's watching these deer. Uh, it's time to thin the herd. All right, guys. We just got in here. We've had this feeder up here for about six weeks. I've had a trail camera here the whole time. Uh, there's been does and small bucks coming here every evening, every morning. Uh, just like clockwork. Hadn't seen any big bucks, and I tell the truth, we've only seen one rack buck. The rest of them's been little bitty button heads and spikes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here this evening. I hadn't hunted it at all. It's been up for six weeks. We come in here this afternoon, brought my climber in by myself. I'm gonna try to self-film my hunt. I'm gonna try to take one of these does out of the herd. Uh, plenty of them around, more than we need uh, for this property we're hunting. So we need to try to thin them down a little bit. It's about four o'clock. They've been showing up between five and six. Stay here and see what happens. Y'all stick with us.
Big Game Connection is a hunting lease service that brings hunters and landowners together. Find your next hunting lease through Big Game Connection and experience the freedom that can only come through leasing your own land. Setting trail cameras, planting food plots, and deciding on stand locations are all things that you control with your own lease. For landowners, we offer peace of mind. No more worrying. We handle everything for you. Call us or check out our website for more information on Big Game Connection. The shortest distance to success is not always measured by the easiest path in life. Sometimes, a little extra patience goes a long way while in the outdoors. Sometimes, a little extra attention to detail separates a good broadhead from an exceptional broadhead. Sometimes, the choice is simple. Choose Executioner Broadheads the next time you're out in the woods. Executioner Broadheads, born to kill. Hi uh, folks, we had us a doe come in here probably about 45 minutes ago. Uh, Waited a little while to do the interview. There was another one here, wouldn't leave. But uh, I think we made a good shot on her. We're gonna give it just a few more minutes. See if anything else comes in. If it don't, we're gonna scoot on down this tree and see if we can find her. Y'all stick with us. I know that deer really took off there. I, I, talking to Scott and looking at the footage, that deer come over and smelt that arrow uh, from that previous deer that had been in there where Scott made that shot and walked over there and smelled the arrow. It didn't take her long to get out of there, but unfortunately it put Scott in a situation. He'd had so much deer movement in there, he really had to take his time to get out, so he was waiting on that deer to leave, so I, I bet he was kind of thankful that that deer had went over there and smelled the area and got out of town. If you'll notice, that's why his recovery's basically in the dark because he had that deer come in, smell the air, he had to wait on it to leave. It finally did smell the air, it finally left, uh, but by the time he could get his stuff, get down, get camera down and everything, it was dark and it's time to get the deer. We definitely made contact with the deer. Now here's a bunch of blood where I thought I seen her slow down at. Keep on tracking, see what we can find. Y'all come with us. Well guys, Got her out. We finally found her. She ran off down the hill there. Uh, got her, got the four-wheeler to her, got her up on the four-wheeler. We're gonna get her on out of here. Gotta get my climbing stand and stuff down. Thank y'all for staying with us. Hi right, guys, we finally got the deer back to the house today. Uh, used old Barnett crossbow. Uh, took my summit climbing stand in, climbed up. Got a feeder up, been up about six weeks. Four deer come in. This is the unlucky one. Uh, she saw me, started doing old head bobbing and everything, so I figured she was the one that had to go. Uh, had a good time. Uh, appreciate y'all staying with us.
again, I just want to reiterate that, you know, as important as it is and as much as we'd like to see those big Boone and Crockett monsters walk out, you know, it's just as important to take those does when the opportunity arises. And a lot of times when you talk to landowners, you know, that's a prerequisite now. If you're leasing land or if you're asking for permission for somebody's property and they know they have big bucks on the property, a lot of times, especially if there's crops involved or, or shrubbery or, you know, anything, they're going to they're gonna want you to take some of those does. So not only is it something that's filling the freezer, it's actually helping landowners, it's helping the farmers all the way around. So it's a, it's, a, it's a good deal all the way around. That's why it's just as important to take those does when the opportunity arises as it is to wait on those 140, 150 inch deer, Boone and Crockett monsters, whatever that you're looking for. And again, it, you know, a, a, that doe for that particular day, that's a trophy to Scott. You know, Scott had waited, he had spent some time out there trying to get that space ready. He was ready to take that deer, he was ready to take an animal off that property and it worked out. Big Game Connection is a hunting lease service that brings hunters and landowners together. Find your next hunting lease through Big Game Connection and experience the freedom that can only come through leasing your own land. Setting trail cameras, planting food plots, and deciding on stand locations are all things that you control with your own lease. For landowners, we offer peace of mind. No more worrying. We handle everything for you. Call us or check out our website for more information on Big Game Connection. The shortest distance to success is not always measured by the easiest path in life. Sometimes, a little extra patience goes a long way while in the outdoors. Sometimes, a little extra attention to detail separates a good broadhead from an exceptional broadhead. Sometimes, the choice is simple. Choose Executioner Broadheads the next time you're out in the woods. Executioner Broadheads, born to kill. On this next hunt, you're going to see Scott and Hunter together in a blind setup watching the edge of a field with a crossbow. Hunter's a shooter today. Again, we're talking about population control. We're talking about thinning the herd. We're talking about uh, accomplishing goals of being out in the woods with your family and friends, creating memories, and also thinning the herd. All right, folks. We're back down here in the blind again today down in Elkin. Uh, we just had a feeder problem earlier in the week. Feeder wasn't going off. We have switched it out yesterday, got it all baited up. We're gonna see if we can take us out another doe out of the herd this evening. Got a hunter with me, he's gonna do the shooting. Y'all stick with us.
hunter just made a good shot on a doe. It wasn't but 15 yards right here in front of us. Uh, we watched her. She just went over here and laid down. I'm pretty sure he's hit her in the heart. She just went over here and laid down about 50 yards away from the stand. We're going to sit here and keep hunting. It's still an hour and a half before dark. We're going to sit here and see if another one comes in. Y'all stick with us. The little town of Elkin, North Carolina is where Trophy Room Adventures calls home. Elkin was one of the first cities that started the urban archery season. Now since, there's been several, several that have followed, but Elkin was one of the first ones that had started that. The reason they started that is because the, the, the population was just out of control. We've talked to people that basically had give permission to hunt, and you talking about seeing in, in people's small one acre lot backyards, of pop, you know, like 40 deer in the same area in one little acre plot. Uh, just too many deer for the area. Um, the herd was basically in poor health because there were so many deer in such a small area, and they started the urban archery season several years ago, and uh, boy, has it worked. It's really thinned the deer out. Still got a lot of deer left there, but it has worked for the town of Elkin. Hey, and we have success. All right, hold its head around here where you can see. I can't get it turned over there with the position that it's in. Well, it's spinning around or something. I can't. All right, folks, right here's Hunter's doe. He just shot, made a perfect shot on it, as you can see, right behind the shoulder. Couldn't ask for anything better. We're down here in Elkin today. Uh, Population's just out of control down here in Elkin city limits. Uh, we're trying to help the neighbors out and do a little doe management, try to thin the herd down a little. They're really making a mess out of people's property, uh, running into cars and everything. And uh, we just wanted to show you what we got. He made a perfect shot, tracked it right up here to it. Can't get no better than that. On this next hunt, you're going to see Tater Russell, a good friend of ours, hunting new spot that he's found. He just has got permission from the landowner to hunt. He's got set up. He's ready, and this is one of the first evenings he's in there. And you just watch what happens next. We're out here today. We're in a new spot up in Mountain Park, North Carolina. We're after a big old fat doe to put in a freezer. Something good to eat on. Bunch of coyotes. Might have to shoot one of them too. We'll just look and see what happens as the day goes on. spot my grandparents have gave me to hunt first day I've ever hunted and I got me a nice little old doe not no monster but she'll eat real good I like to thank Scott Martin for all he does to help me 
my grandparents and everybody that's helped me this year. Again, Trophy Room Adventures would like to remind the viewers that if you've got footage that you'd like to submit to us, we would love to have a copy of it, love to be able to look at it and see if there's some way we can use it in the show. We want Trophy Room Adventures to be as much about the viewers as it is about us. Uh, if you've got a hunt that you've got scheduled, you've got no way to film it, just call us, email us, send us a note, send us a letter, get in touch with us somehow, let us know. We'll be more than happy to come out, video that hunt for you and try our best to get it on the show. Again, we want the viewers to be just as much a part of the show as we are. Mm -hmm.